What is up everyone, welcome to another Movie Worm review. This is going to be for the film Sonic the Hedgehog and this is directed by Jeff Fowler starring James Marsden, Jim Carrey, Ben Swartz and Tika Sumter. Now first off I just want to say as well as a massive movie lover I am also a massive gamer. The first game I ever played was Sonic the Hedgehog on the Mega Drive so this character is quite important to me. I'll never forget my fifth birthday when I went down the stairs booted up Sonic on the Mega Drive and that was the moment I fell in love with video games. Now if you see my top 10 most anticipated of 2020 list you will notice that Sonic the Hedgehog is on there mainly because of how important the character is to me like I just mentioned but I have to admit I was very highly cautious going into this film. Now the reason for that is when I did first see the trailers I wasn't really blown away by anything and I was especially concerned about the look of Sonic and it hasn't had a great start as well from all the fan backlash that it got. I mean, look at him. You know, so this did get off to a very, very shaky start. And the other thing I had in my mind was video game movies tend to suck. They're usually terrible. Barring, of course, Mortal Kombat and the Street Fighter 2 animated movie. But that's about it. Now, the movie takes place in a small town called Green Hills. Sonic's been living just on the outskirts of this town for the past 10 years. Because he had to escape his home planet after all these creatures came after him because of his unique look and his unique abilities. So he doesn't really want anyone to know that he's living on Earth. But he's starting to feel very alone, very isolated. And there's even scenes where he's playing table tennis on his own, but he's that fast. He can get from one end of the table to the other. So he's basically competing against himself. So he's got no friends and he's starting to feel very frustrated. And one day... Anger gets the better of him and an EMP charge bounces off him and takes out all the power in Green Hills. Now the government have heard of little sightings of this blue hedgehog or the blue devil as people call it in this film. And they decide to do something about it. So they send in a specialist, Dr Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey, to get down to the bottom of it once and for all. Now one of my biggest fears going into this was actually the story going by the trailer because... Sonic's running around in human society and he's interacting with people and it just looked a little off because the games tend to focus on colourful stages like the Green Hill Zone or the Labyrinth Zone or stuff like that. So I was very fearful going in what this story was going to contain. Also, video game movies do tend to drift from the game too much and mess it up every time. However, it was all put together very nicely. It was very loyal to its source material, especially the first scene. I mean, that looked exactly like the video game. But when we go to Earth, it doesn't fully forget that. It doesn't just leave it all in that first scene. It brings elements of the game with it. And there's a lot of throwbacks here and a lot of Easter eggs for fans. Now, what I loved most about these throwbacks and Easter eggs was the fact that it didn't forget about its first ever audience, like myself. The Mega Drive version of Sonic came out in 1991 and it, all these little throwbacks were just hitting me in the nostalgic feels. What I did admire as well is that this is essentially a kids movie so they had to connect with that audience as well as us and it found a really nice balance. Now let's just talk about the look of Sonic. I'm so glad the creators of this film went back to the drawing board after listening to fans because that first look was actually terrible. He looks here more like the character we all know and love from the video games. I thought he looked fantastic. And what I was impressed with more was the CGI on him because he's in this human world with these human characters, but he doesn't really look out of place. I know he's a totally different look of character to humans, but he blends in really well with the world. Also, Ben Swartz did a great job on the voice of Sonic just to make him an all-round great and enjoyable character. I'm so happy about this version of Sonic because he's one of my favourite video game characters of all time and this kept my grip on the likeability I have towards him. Now Sonic does share most of his screen time with a guy called Tom played by James Marsden. I thought he was fantastic in the film, great actor and brings a very enjoyable character to the film along with Sonic. The chemistry between these two guys was great and they made the perfect little team. We also have Jim Carrey as Dr Robotnik. Now I was a little surprised with this choice because Dr. Apartner is a small fat guy with a sticky out ginger beard and Jim Carrey is quite the opposite of that. However, he does have a little story arc going on here and by the end of the movie there is certainly a difference in the look department. 
Now, what I love most about Jim Carrey in this film, it was classic Jim Carrey. He seemed to be having the time of his life here, pulling dumb faces and the way he delivers dialogue. It was just classic Jim Carrey, and that's what I love about him. And th this is a very funny film when it wants to be, but most of the comedy does come from his character. Speaking of the comedy in this film, it goes back to what I was saying before about the kids and the adults. It finds a great balance. There were jokes here for kids and there were jokes here for adults. Now, there was times in my cinema where the kids were in absolute hysterics at the dumb little jokes. And I had a little smile on my face, but they were really fine and they're funny. And there was other times where I was laughing and they weren't because I got that joke more. It's a perfect balance once again. And there are some great action scenes in this film. There's quite a lot, actually, but some of the best ones are when Robotnik is on Sonic's tail and he's in them little machines that he has from the video games. And yet, just another great throwback, really. Now, this film is not perfect, of course. It does have a few flaws. Sonic runs at very, very high speeds in this film. And there's a few scenes where time is sort of slowed down, where Sonic is moving so fast, so you can see it from his point of view, but... It just didn't really connect with me and seemed a little bit out of place. For example, one scene in this film, Tom and Sonic get in a bar fight and time almost stops and we see it from Sonic's point of view. He then proceeds to wrap people up in toilet roll, tie people's feet up with ropes and then when normal service resumes, everyone gets in a kerfuffle and they all like fall over and it just... It just didn't quite fit for me, and some of the scenes where it does this do take quite a long time. At the start of this movie, Sonic doesn't want to be seen by any human characters. He's always staying hidden. But as the movie goes on, they seem to forget that. There's one scene where Sonic gets out of the car in the middle of a busy street, and you can be seen at any moment. It just seemed a little bit careless to me. Also, Tom's girlfriend's sister in this film hates him. Like, really hates him. She thinks he's the worst person in the world. And I just didn't get that at all. Because Tom seems like a really likeable character in this film. He seems like a really good guy. And she just came off as a little bit of an annoying character, to be honest. However, they are small nitpicks. And I had a great time with this movie. I think most people will. It's a real family fun film. And I just also like the fact that it's stuck true to the video games. Also, don't go anywhere until after the first post credit scene. Amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and rate this film. I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog a 7.5 out of 10. I hope this paves the way for new video game movies, because there's certainly a market there. I just don't know how they messed them up so much. This is definitely one of the better ones, for sure. So at the end of these reviews, I always like to leave a little fun fact. Now, the fun fact for this film is that Jim Carrey stated what drew him to the role of Dr. Robotnik was that his daughter was such a massive fan of the video games. So, well done, Jim. You've done a proud. Okay, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this review. If you want more reviews, please subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming, not just reviews, other videos too. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to give a like down below or comment, I will reply to every single one of you, I promise. So, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next video.